The tour is still in Belgium today, and for this second stage, the riders will have to race between Vizé and Tournai. That's a 207-kilometer-long route. There is no major difficulty in this course, except for the climb to the Namur Citadel, a Category 4 ascent, 125 kilometers from the finish line. The stage victory should go to a sprinter. The first rider to attack today is Francis Anthony Roux of FDJ Big Mat, who breaks at kilometer 22. And it's got a few kilometers further by two men, another Frenchman, Christophe Kern of Europe Car, and Michael Markov of Denmark, the Saxo Bank rider who is currently wearing the polka dot jersey. The trio manages to leave the peloton up to eight minutes behind, but the gap narrows to around six minutes as they reach the Namur Citadel climb, a difficulty that they deal with smoothly. The two French riders are fair play enough to let Morkov clinch the points for the polka dot jersey classification at the top of this hill. The pack remains at close distance from the front of the race, narrowing the gap little by little. The breakaway riders are just 2 minutes 30 ahead as they reach the intermediate sprint, 54.5 kilometers from the finish line. None of the three escapees really fight for the sprint. Christophe Kern, Anthony Roux and Michael Morkov cross the line in that order. There is a little more struggling when the peloton gets to the sprint area, and the winner is Matthew Goss of Orica Greenwich. The Australian rider is the fastest at the intermediate sprint, followed by his fellow countryman Mark Ranshaw of Riberbank and today's stage favorite for the win, Mark Cavendish of Sky. As the pack gets closer and closer, Anthony Roux decides to take his chance a little more than 30 kilometers from Tournai. The Frenchman leaves his two comrades, who get caught by the peloton. The last escapee tried to hold it off, but it was in vain. The pack swallows him 14 kilometers from the arrival. Now that the break has lived, it's time for the sprinters to get serious for the finish on a 400 meter long false flat. At the red flag with one kilometer to go, the Lotto Belisol riders launch the attack to put Germany's Andre Greipel in the ideal position. Greipel is a sprint expert and is close to surpass the competition, but unfortunately for him, the highly expected Mark Cavendish gives his all in the last meters to outstrip him and get his first stage win in this 2012 Tour de France, the 21st overall.